The Gutter Bluids had Neat Path and Goal, had Salmon Castle, Gregerson and Tweedy on the fence, and the three midfield they had Bridge, Wilson, Prince, and up front they had Cuddy, Sainsbury, and he skates. And for the Terriers there, Richard Sony is taken up to unusual position in goal ahead of Siberius who is suspended for two matches. Benson moves to left back while Gregor Fisher comes back into the starting eleven at centre back while Nettison maintains her position at centre back and Deberino moves back to her original position at right back. It's as you wear with Hoffman, Lindsay and Rogan but Andy Murray Richardson moves into centre midfield. Well, Junior makes his debut on the left side of the midfield. Up front, it's Nathaniel Hector. Are you Chelsea? Are you Chelsea? Are you Chelsea in disguise? Yes, Chelsea, my dear. I don't know how you left in the car. We're going to do it with the park. When we win, we'll have some fun. We're going to go on the drink with Edison. Go on the drink with Edison. Go the, the game started pretty well with both sides having great attacking options. Richard Sonny didn't have much to do in goal but the first goal for the Border Terriers came when Hector was fouled on the edge of the box. Debutant Junior crossed it into the box only for Murray to fumble. The ball then rolled into an empty space only for Junior to tap in home for his first of the Border Terriers. Nothing else happened in the first half so both teams went down the tunnel a bit deflated. And once again for the Border Terriers, there was a boring second half for both sides. The only thing to shout about was a potential goal for the Border Terriers. Junior had a shot at goal but Neatpath saved but spilled. The ball in seemed to roll into the net with Neatpath getting a hand on it. But the referee said no goal. The team, including Richard Sonius, was furious. But the Terriers advanced to the third round of the Amateur Cup after a 1-0 win. Back in training today and we are through to the last 16 of the Amateur Cup. What do you make of that performance? Uh, we won the game by a single goal. I think we um, we played well in the first half, as did the opposition. Um, we obviously scored the goal and were on top, but, uh, but it was um, not much between the teams. And in the second half, once again, I feel we, we've let ourselves down in the second half as a performance, but um, we did um, grind it out and um, we, uh, we advanced to the next round. And how was the dep deputant Junior? Uh, junior played well on the day, um, played well in the first half, um, really good, uh, some good skills we've seen from him, um, to see what he can do, but then uh, maybe he didn't last for the whole game. You welcome uh, Welldale Trawlers to Puppy Park on Sunday. Can you maintain your unbeaten record? Uh, I think we can maintain our unbeaten record. We've um, Welldale Trawlers haven't played as well as they should have um, in the last few games, and they found, find themselves saying near the bottom of the league. So um, I think we can um, maintain it. We just have to m make sure that our performances uh, were on top form. Uh, throughout the 90 minutes, uh, play play well in the second half because one one of these games is going to we're going to need a good second half performance to for us to win the game. Okay, thank you now. Yeah. The Border Terriers' next opponents are the Welldale Trollers. They hail from down the Welldale. This is their badge, complete with another Latin motto. This Latin motto means the ships will arrive. And they play in the stripes of Saiyan and Navy, complete with an anchor in the centre representing their history. Now they've been underperforming recently, but can they get a result against the Terriers? Well, you'll have to come on Sunday to find out.